So welcome back to the farm. We are working on the super toy again. So our project has kind of blown way out of proportion, which is fine. So what we're gonna try to do, what we are going to do is I'm gonna build a retaining wall around this black tarped area, this flat area. This is gonna be the playground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that at least one brick higher than level with the playground. So that's gonna be phase two is the retaining wall. Phase three is essentially going to be bring in the rubber mulch and put, I think you need six inches of rubber mulch, six to eight inches for fall protection. We're probably gonna have about four inches. The rubber mulch is silly expensive and we need a lot of it. So we're gonna go probably that four to six inch range. Hi. Hey, I am not an elevator. So that's, that's what we're doing with the playground. Whoa. Along with that, I think we've had some ideas of how to modify this a little bit. And by modify, it's add on. Add a couple extra things. <laughs> we're going to add a couple of extra things to the playground. So stay tuned for that one. So that's basically the next two big projects. After that, we're going to do a big concrete slab out here in between the wing walls and then out about 35 feet. So I've also contracted out our retaining walls because frankly, the real retaining walls are just too big for me to do on my own. So these uh, retaining walls that are made out of railroad ties they're failing, they suck, I don't think they're installed properly, and they're just rotting away. Railroad ties suck. Please don't install railroad ties and then sell your property because railroad ties suck. I don't know many good uses for railroad ties, really. I hate them. So we're going to have a company come out and redo those. I think we're going to redesign them, do a little bit of dirt work, kind of reshape these hills a little bit. So they're just not going to come straight out and stop in space. It's going to, you know, rotate in, maybe put a bench in here, just right behind the play area. Maybe do a little fire pit. I'll probably do that. So that's kind of my grand plan for what we're doing out here. Temporary summer fun. Garden hose and zip ties. Why not?
So after a lot of shovel work, I got the bright idea to figure out, hey, I could put my pallet fork's teeth together and actually that makes a pretty good powered shovel. So, interesting little farm hack. The pulley's coming out, huh? Sir. 